Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about my printing process. Um, this is all the steps I follow from the illustration on my Procreate to the print. So, I have to say uh, two things. Um, the first one is I use a normal paper, standard paper or like cotton paper, natural paper maybe. And the second one is that I, I recently bought the archival paper from Epson and I really like uh, how uh, the quality of the prints with uh, it. Uh, by now I'm going to talk to you about only for uh, the settings and things with the normal paper. Um, I'm sure that in the future I'm going to able to talk to you about the Epson archival paper and doing some review. Um, first, uh, I'm going to do the review, uh, a writing review in a blog for my Patreon. So if you are interested, you can look at uh, that. Look at there. <laughs> Sorry, you can look at there. Um, we are going to see me now working on these prints that I uh, already have. They turn uh, so well. Well, I explain it uh, in the video too. And Hope with um, I hope that with these tips I'm going to uh, tell you, you can do uh, the best quality prints uh, with your printer. So um, see you guys in the next video that I hopefully think it's going to be our next uh, studio blogs. Okay, guys. First of all, uh, for do the print, we have to prepare the file for, uh, from procreate in my case um if you work with procreate you f maybe this is going to be much easier for you um first i uh make the um, illustration with a transparent background and i make sure that the size is uh, enough in this case, my dimensions are in millimeters, uh, but this is uh, 25 per 25 millimeters, so uh, centimeters, sorry. And I work with a, a huge uh, canvas, like 3000 per 3000. So uh, in order to print, you have to make sure that the resolution is the correct one uh, for printed for printed things. Um, the correct resolution is about three three hundred uh, dots per inch. I think this is in English. And also, this is so important because this is very important. Not so very 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 important because this is going to uh, determine how you how your illustration is going to look in the end if you are planning to do if you are planning to do illustrations for um a social media or internet things um it's not necessary uh, it's going this big so with a uh, one one hundred and fifty or twenty two dots per inch uh, is enough for a screen but in this case it's going to be print so it has to be 300 dots per inch once this is uh, okay what we are going to do is um, tra transfer the illustration from the iPad to the uh, Photoshop um, I am not working with an, a Mac, so what I have to do is uh, upload my image to my cloud and from the computer um, download to Photoshop or open from the cloud with Photoshop. So I'm going to do now, right? I'm going to do it right now and um, let's continue. Okay, so I have my um, illustrations here without a background. This is Luna, Hermione, and Ginny. And 
what I'm going to do now is open a new um, a new canvas or make a new canvas. Mm, I'm so new. Make a new. Uh, be sure that is the size, the right size you are going to print. In my case, it's going to be uh, A5 and a portrait mode. Resolution, it's going to be um, 300 uh, pixels per dots per in or pixels per I don't know what is this, but this is the same resolution that I have in the Procreate. Uh, um, color mode. Um, this is going to be... I'm going to choose um, RGB, 8-bit and white. And uh, the, co the co uh, space... Uh, profile color or work color profile um, in this case it's going to be uh, sRGB because my illustrations are in this type of uh, color profile um, um, this is important because um, Printer uh, choose the colors, and I think uh, the the printer um, change the profiles uh, automatically. I think it's something that I didn't know for sure, but I tried another uh, profiles, and now what I am using is the one that I think is. Um, more close to what I see on the screen. So I'm going to leave that in this way. And create. So we have our A5. And now what I need to do is to place um, Genie, for example. Um, we can adjust if, I, if we think that need some adjustments we can adjust this here I'm doing now automatically uh, no this is not working we can uh, mm, uh, change the contrast the brightness uh, all these things if you want to be more brighter more darker or whatever this is up to you and what I'm going to do now is to move or duplicate layer on my i5. So here it is. It's too big right now, but we are going to adjust the printing here. So now we have that. We have our illustration uh, with correct size and resolution. And now it's time to start exploring the printing settings. Mm, my printer is saying that I had in la uh, landscape mode. Now it's the correct. Um, now it's the correct size and a mode. Um, you see, guys, uh, my printer. If I um, print in normal paper, I can uh, print without these white marks. So don't worry. I like I like this type of white uh, uh, border on the image. I think it looks cute. Um yeah, uh, if you see that, um, Photoshop is reminding me that um, I have to change um, the color 
management to Photoshop instead of um, the printer. I don't know why this is uh, Photoshop is telling me, but I'm going to take a word of her advice. So um, uh, in the management color, Photoshop uh, manage the colors. Uh, the printing settings or printing profile is Epson XP900 standard. This is uh, the, the best that I found that the colors matches uh, with the screen. Uh, this, uh, I don't know how it is in English, but I think it's something like the color mode or, or how the the inks, um, how the inks react with the paper or something like that. Um, for saturate, for more, when you have a uh, very saturated colors, um, I read in internet that the best option is to set up in the percentual uh, option. Also, if the co if the colors are not so much saturated, it can be um, the colometric relative. I don't know if in English is is saying this way. I'm sorry, but the options are there, and this percentual and colometric relative. I think. Um, what I do is this. These are my settings. And this is how I do my prints. I had a lot of tests and I changed a lot of the profiles. I tried uh, the Mate one, uh, what that was a total mistake because all these uh, profiles are set up for photographic paper. I'm not using photographic paper. Uh, my paper is much is much more like um, natural paper like um, with cotton not cotton but is not uh, glossy or semi gloss nothing like that so what happens with this profile are that the printer sends much more ink to the paper and in case your paper is not um, is not glossy or matte or have a special co coated um, or a special layer on it um, takes um, in my case uh, my paper takes a lot of ink and I ran out I remember I ran out so fast of ink without uh, without uh, no <laughs> I ran I ran uh, so fast of ink because of that, my, my paper uh, takes so much ink with this profile. So with the standard, I think that the ink, um, the ink the printer sent to the paper, it's much less and also the pictures or the illustrations looks nicer. Obviously, um, we are not going to see these brighter colors on paper because always when you print something, um, or I remember when I studied <laughs> when I studied that in college, um, the luminosity of the screen obviously is not the same that you can uh, have in a paper. So, so let's go to make some prints. Okay, so I have the paper cut it right here. And I'm going to print uh, Ginny first. As you see, um, I don't know if you can see it properly. Oops. Here. Okay, so here it is. Um, I'm going to uh, print the first one. So this is the printing how it works um, I also I'm going to say that I print one per one print per print um, I use the back part of my printer 
So I'm going to show you guys right now how I do. Um, this is the settings. And I'm going to go to print. And uh, voila, this is Ginny. Now I think the colors are quite well. You see the quality. Okay, one moment. You see, guys, the quality of the print. Uh, the for the printer, it it's quite good. Um, all the traces I made and all the brushes I use um, had their own texture. And this is how I print. Um, I'm sure I could still um, try and try to find the best color option. Also, I was thinking the other day that maybe I had to buy, buy, buy um, a calibrator, a screen calibrator. I don't know if in, if in English it's called like that. Um, this is something you put on your screen and it's uh, to to set up the color and make sure you're going to see the right colors. Um, so maybe this um, problem with the brightness, uh, apart from the, the fact that the one is on a screen with light and the other no, <laughs> I think maybe I could adjust better with uh, the calibrator, but by the moment, I think they turn cute and the colors are quite well for being um, home print. So I'm going to do the same with the um, Hermione. I think I'm going to print Hermione only and I'm going to still going printing uh, some of my Christmas and and yeah I think I'm going to stop talking and start doing these things so see you later guys okay guys um I just finished printing uh, Hermione I changed um, something on my setup that I think makes look better the image and much more similar to the um, screen image so oh, i'm sorry i can no so you can see this is a screen image and this is the uh, printed image well now uh, it doesn't seem very similar but the colors um this uh, in this case in genie's case Mm, the background it is much more uh, gray and in the screen was more warm color and with Hermione I changed uh, the color in the screen to a yellow not yellow but a yellowish um, background and once print the color still seems yellow so I think uh, that what I was doing wrong was the fact that when you uh, sorry that when you uh, in the interpretation uh, mode I said before I had with perceptual um, interpretation or relative but I changed it to absolute colometric and I think this w works better than the others. So you can see the difference uh, here in the um, in the preview mode. With the perceptual was that was what I have. You see, it turns out much uh, white than the original image that is here. You know, you see the difference between them. Also, if you, if you change to absolute, you see it turns more, more yellow and it stays uh, the same that the image here. This image is the preview mode 
and it's very useful uh, to see what is going to be print. So this, um, I discovered this uh, searching on internet right now in Adobe, Adobe Help or something like that. Um, in a page uh, that talks about the management uh, color system and I changed that and finally I think I had something similar to what I draw or the colors what I draw. Okay guys, okay guys, so this is all for today. Um, I'm going to have lunch right now and then I can I'm going to continue with my magazines stuff um, well the final result of all things is like for prints it's good to have the percentual <laughs> the colometric absolute uh, thing and um, that in case you want a uh, white black sorry white background you use the relative uh, the relative colometric interpretation so this is the story for today we all learn something new and hope you guys uh, have a nice day and see you tomorrow